What's up car YouTube? As you can see behind me, my 8 Turbo LS Swap Mustang. But unfortunately, it's a sad day in the car world because we're going to be taking these turbos off. As we've talked about in the previous videos, the turbos on this are getting weak and they're only getting weaker the more that we push them. They just weren't built to run 35 pounds of boost like we intended them to. So these things are gonna come off. However, I'm not done with this 8 Turbo thing. Just wait until next winter when we have six months of winter again. But fortunately for us, it's spring now and that means Let's do some serious racing. I want to race this thing, but with the turbos the way they are, it just doesn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense to buy replacement turbos only for those ones to blow too. So I have a new idea that we're going to do next winter. And I know this car brought a lot of you guys here, but the OGs will know that I, I love racing and I love my single turbo setup and I love going fast. So. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull these off. We're gonna put it in a bin somewhere where you won't forget about it. And we're gonna put a single turbo back on this thing. So how about one last start for the road? And that's it. I bid you a farewell, eight turbos. It's time for you to come off, and it's time to build something serious again. All right, while I'm taking this off, let's just have a little chat here. Uh, as some of you guys know, we do have a Patreon, uh, and I appreciate those guys so, so much. They help me out, and, and they don't ask for much. They just, they, they like help contributing to the channel a little bit more just to see me progress and eventually just make this my full-time job. But yeah, we've come up with like $1,300 on Patreon since January, I think, which is almost enough to get us into a short block, like a, a piston rod combo. But what I went ahead and did is I actually got our engine builder to start building us a long block. So it's got some uh, like China-ish heads in it, but it's got forged pistons and rods. And the idea is to put that engine in the car and really test out our True North Turbos 88 millimeter. That's my own turbo company, True North Turbos. You can find us on Instagram. So really half the reason we're getting rid of these eight turbos is that we really want to put our new turbo line to the test and I don't mind being a test dummy for something like that because that's just, that's just super, super cool. Why am I struggle busting so hard with these right now? Holy bejesus. You know what, they can stay on this side. I'm pulling them from the other side. Oil everywhere. So yeah, just pulling the oil out of the rails here, uh, and then those rails can come off with the oil lines and come out. This tank can come out, both turbo manifolds can come off, and then it's gonna start looking like an engine again. But if I can get a motor together and then we get a turbo together and then a couple, like like a month or so 
Test it? Oh boy. Oh, we'll be ready to party. Gotcha. Here we go, two sets of turbos up. All right, boys, a turbo kit for sale right here. 20 bucks for best offer. Bolt right on, whole kit right here, boom. I'll even give you those pipes. It's starting to look way better again. I, I built this car and it was so clean, the last setup that we had on here, and then the eight turbos just made it look so dumb. And I'm so excited just to just make it look clean and awesome again. And here you get a better look at our oiling system. The feed actually came in here, went through the two rails, fed through all eight of these ports, came out the back side of the rails into this fuel regulator where we could adjust it down like 20 pounds, and then back into this tank right here, and then the tank went to the pump, the pump to the cooler, the cooler. You get the gist of it. So all that's gonna come off now and that's gonna make it look a ton cleaner again, getting rid of like these lines and these lines that were never meant to be there. And uh, poor oil down here. <laughs> these poor like gaskets are just covered in oil now. You know what, do you go. Just, just soak up that oil. What if I just throw kitty litter down here? Just all this cat litter. But then you gotta clean up the cat litter, Kyle. This is so awkward. Kyle's starting to get excited. Like guys, I, I'm, I'm actually, Genuinely excited. I, I felt like for a while there was pressure to keep doing the A turbo thing just to try and make it work But now that we're taking it off and we're doing something that I really enjoy doing like making four-digit power numbers Kyle's a happy boy Oh my god, those are on there tight. I think Dan put these on. Dan is all your fault! Don't fall. I'm really bad for just using any size wrench. I don't know what the size is. Oh, seen that coming. All that oil that was just in the pan, not in the pan anymore. Good job, Kyle. It's not the first amount of oil I'm gonna spill in this setup. All right, all those oil lines are gone. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the intake manifold off as well. I wanna clean up inside the valley. There's some wiring that I really wanna redo. And the only way to do it is to take the intake manifold off because all our connectors are back here. Um, it's just something that I've been, I've been wanting, like there's extra wires hanging everywhere and they just don't go anywhere and shit. So I wanna clean up some of the wiring. Uh, like you can see there are fuel hose here that that's, not, that's not safe. So we're just gonna try and clean it up, prep it up a little bit, uh, get rid of that other oil tank. We'll get rid of this big bar on the front and uh, take the intake manifold off just so, you know, to clean it up a bit. You know what? There's something sentimental about this engine to me. It's just, it's been through so much. It's the first one that I ever built, probably like two and a half years on the channel. It, it was the first thing that kind of kicks out of the channel because people watched it just to see what I was doing. They were like, you, you're an idiot. You don't even know what you're doing. And I, I didn't, I really didn't know what I was doing, but it's still kicking and I don't get it. It's, it's made over a thousand wheel horsepower. It's hit a wall. It's broke part of the block off. It's had zero oil pressure. It's done wheelies. We've cracked a ring land in it before and replaced one piston. It's got the same head gaskets that were in there. It's the same head studs that were in there before. Like it's, it's rocking still. I, I, I don't get it. I love it. You know what? I'm gonna give it some love. I'm gonna get some brake clean. I'm just gonna polish it up a little bit. Just, you know, just making me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Like you couldn't see the engine before. It was just all turbo. And now, but, but now, you know, you can just see it and look at it. It's like the shiny valve, the, the Summit Racing, $140 valve covers, minty cool. Stick one of these in each intake port, you know, just for a good measure here. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this valve cover off just to see if like, you know, how everything's looking under there. I'm just, I'm genuinely curious. We haven't had one of these off in a while, I think. Hopefully these gaskets don't swell because once you pull them off and they swell, they don't seal back up. Damn, it looks still brand new. Our gaskets are flying under there. Oh no, look, I told you I pulled the valve cover off. As soon as the gasket comes out, it swells up and it's, that's it, it's done. No broken springs or anything. 
Our uh, rockers have trunnions in them. All the push rods be looking okay. Our big lift cam in there. Maybe I should give these a little bit of a tighten just to make sure that they're all tight. Other than that, this thing looks good to go. I mean, in reality, we didn't beat on it that hard because we only made 737 wheel with eight turbos or something like that. So it actually got way more abuse last year at the end of last season, and it hasn't took any abuse really since then. So there should be no reason why this motor won't work again. Let's just pull off this side too for good measure. This one actually had a different gasket in it because this one was leaking at one point. You know what? Everything be looking clean under there too. I like it. So, like I said, turbo kit for sale, 20 bucks. Gets you uh, the eight turbos, intercooler, all the piping, or best offer. I mean, I can't, can't really expect 20 bucks out of this thing. Next up is the oil tank, which means I gotta get underneath here and drain the oil tank. You just need the perfect amount of extensions to like get behind here. Ah, like that. There we go. So I went ahead and I put the valve covers back on this thing. Now in that box right there is everything to put a single turbo kit back on in less than one day. I would just need the turbo again and I would need to build a bar like this one to hold the turbo, like to brace it up. I wanted to build another turbo kit just um, so I could use a V-band back housing on the turbo. And then I also wanted to be able to do dual bull horns instead of just one single exhaust out this side. The problem with that being that there's already like this big five inch cutout or six inch cutout or whatever the size that is on this side. So it would look kind of dumb maybe if we did dual like bull horns at the side. Also our headers here, they're like burnt on fingerprints and shit on the headers. I think Scotch Bright will take it off, but if not, let me know what can take that off down below. So I'm gonna get this bar off, pr probably relocate the radiator a little bit so I can move the turbo down just a little bit further. And I wanna brace this because it's not really braced on anything right now. It's just kind of wiggling around. And the front clip is what ruins this car for me. I really love the look of the new edge and I hate the look of this thing. So I don't know kind of what I wanna do here. I think like a full fiberglass front clip would be super cool and it would give me more room and it'd be lighter because that thing weighs a ton. But you know what? I'm not sold on it and like, the car as a whole, I love it. The interior is pretty clean once I clean it out. The wiring is going to be cleaner once I redo it again. And we've got a good stout like setup. Like the, it works. It went one, two, five, sixty foot wheeling. We just have to work on keeping the nose down, get the power to come in faster, some more adjustability in the back. But I feel like we've got a good platform this season. We should be able to do something with it. Once again, I appreciate all you guys. And thanks again for being returning viewers. That, that means the world to me. I'm more above getting the paid thing, getting the Patreon thing, like all that, just being a return viewer, it helps so much. And then it's all just like little wins above that, like the Patreon thing, having those guys help out with the motor, it's like, and I'm one of those people who's like, I'm a little bit afraid to ask for things. I realize I do have this following and if I, I went to a company and asked them like, hey, I'm trying to do this motor thing, do you, do you guys wanna help out and stuff? Like, I probably would get some bites back, but I'm always one that like, I just put myself in the universe and I hope that the universe pulls itself back into me. So that's probably all I'm gonna get done for today. I'll be back out again tomorrow, probably do some tinkering on this car. I keep saying I'm gonna tinker on this car and then I never get around to it because I don't wanna haul the rear end of this thing, but we're gonna have to pull it out. So that's probably the next thing on the agenda. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace easy and get that V.